the reason why you were isolated from many of the people that you grew up with, many of the people that you have the same type of blood, share the same type of blood, so your family, your friends, the people that you've known for a very long time, there is a distance now between you and them. There is a big difference between you and them. You have elevated to a rate that these people find unfathomable. These people may still be doing the same old things in the same old places, and you are going higher places. You have been moved. You have been shifted. Your whole life has been turned around for the better. And this is why you had to be isolated from people to protect this path, this new rejuvenated path that you are currently on these days. Congratulations for answering the call, for understanding that, yes, your purpose is much higher. Your purpose is much greater. People are going to try to debunk that like it's like it's a myth of sorts. But there is no myth and there is no joke here. When you've been handpicked to be better, when you've been handpicked to wake people up, you are going to have to be isolated from most of the people that you know that you grew up with. You're going to have to be isolated because these people are simply not on the same path or the same frequency that you are currently on. It may hurt because you want to bring everybody with you, or at least you may want to bring many people with you. Many people, because you're the type of person who has more of a jovial personality, perhaps. Maybe you're the type of person who likes to share. You break bread. You like to break bread with many people. People that you love, people that you may not even know that well. You like to see everybody well. You like to see everybody happy and well taken care of. That's simply your nature, and it's a beautiful thing. But understand, because you are now in this newfound spirit, your eyes have been opened to what's really going on in this world, and you now have a purpose that you are stepping into or you already have stepped into. Understand that not everybody that you know has, on, has gone on this journey as well. Not everybody you know has elevated at the rate that you have. Not everybody you know has done the healing. A lot of these people are still very much damaged internally. You understand? They may look like they're, ha they're having glowing lives, beautiful lives, but internally they are severely damaged, which is why they move in the way that they do with you and with other people, which is why, you know, this is a reason why you have to be isolated. You were isolated because you had to be protected. Not only you as a human, you as a person, you as an anointed person, but whatever it is that you're working on as well, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, what you're trying to do has to be protected as well. And unfortunately, even the people we love the most can cause harm, can cause delays, can cause blockages if we do not isolate ourselves from these people. Now, it's not to say that we have to hate these people or be angry with these people or be malicious, be very blunt or cold with these people. Maybe sometimes we do, but not all the time. The bottom line is you will be isolated. You will feel isolated sometimes, but even the feeling of isolation can bring warmth. Even the feeling of isolation can bring comfort to you. Understand that in th these periods of isolation, so much clarity is gifted to you. Sometimes we have to lose something to gain something even better. We have to make way, we have to bulldoze the old, bulldoze what is not right to make space, to make way for the better. Protecting your future, protecting your mind. This is the hub. This is everything. And you have to be isolated to protect this mind because this is what people will go for first all the time. Always try to screw up your mind. Always will try to screw up with, you know, how you think, what you're thinking, what you're going to do with this mind. People will go for that first. You have to be isolated to protect the state of your mind, you know, and it's going to feel hard. It's going to feel weird, but it had to happen. It had to happen because you are an anointed person. And you got to stand up. You got to you got to embrace that. It is not something to shy away from now. There is no shying away from it now. You're in it now. You got to fulfill it now. You answer the call. Because you answer the call, a lot of things are going to come with that. And one of the things that's going to come with that is you having to isolate yourself. You having to stay away. God removing people from your life. God removing you from other people's lives. Not to hurt you. Not to make you feel abandoned. Not to make you feel sad. But to protect. 
but to protect because you're in your winning season now. You have to be protected. And whatever it is that you're working on needs to be protected as well. All right, everybody? Isolation can feel isolating, you know, feeling alone, feeling abandoned. But you're never abandoned. You're never alone. You're protected. You are anointed. So you're always, you can be rest assured that you are always protected. All right, everybody? Stay up. The isolation had to happen.